What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you three free ways to get cellular signal in a dead zone. So if you have T-Mobile, Verizon, at t these are gonna be three solutions to get free cellular signal in your home without purchasing any uh, expensive equipment. Um, like me, I don't pay for a landline phone. I have cellular signal, and that's my only phone service. One solution you guys probably already know about is Wi-Fi calling. You swipe down and then you swipe down again and you'll see that option for Wi-Fi calling. Now you may have to update your phone, but most phones nowadays have this feature. And to access that, you just click on your Wi-Fi, make sure it's activated, make sure you have a good signal, and then you click on Wi-Fi calling right here it's also, it's also under settings and on this menu right here Wi-Fi calling settings you can select cellular network preferred but if there's no cell phone signal then it would jump to Wi-Fi calling or if you just want to choose Wi-Fi preferred and then it'll only use your Wi-Fi signal if you want to save your minutes so I just turned off my Wi-Fi, so we're not using Wi-Fi calling anymore. And so my signal is around two bars. One to two bars means you're cutting in and out and you may drop a call. The Wi-Fi calling was okay and all, but sometimes I will get gargling on the Wi-Fi calling where you hear distortion. So I called T-Mobile and I said, hey, I have a dead zone in my house, my new location. There's anything you can do. They're like, yeah, you could purchase these devices. I'm like, I'm not going to purchase any device. You should have a signal at my location. I just switched to at t They're like, no, we'll send you over to technical support and see if they have any solutions over there. So technical support said that I qualify because I'm in a dead zone. I qualify for these free devices. This device is actually a window booster. So I walked around my whole entire house and the best signal I get around my whole house was this window. It was only two bars. And ideally, you want to put the window unit on the top floor uh, on one of the windows that have the best signal. But I don't have a top floor. I only have one floor. And this window only gets one to two bars signal, which is horrible. So what this device does, it, it comes actually two devices in a box and it repeats the signal to the other device on the other side of the house. So if you're getting two bars at this window, it's going to repeat that signal over on the other side to where that device is plugged in, maybe 30, 40 feet away, and it's going to repeat that signal throughout your house. And it won't actually give you five bars, it'll give you two to, you know, right here it says two bars. Alright, so on the other side of my house I have this device which is the repeater, it's communicating with the window unit. and. Uh, my house is small, so I can only get it to two. Ideally, you want to get it anywhere between five and up. But it says I'm com it, it is communicating. See, the green lights lets you know it's communicating with the window unit. If it had red LEDs, that means it's not communicating with the uh, window unit. They activate these boxes at the factory, and the only thing you have to do is just plug them in and let them connect. This is how they want you to have it set up one upstairs in the window unit where you get the best signal and then put the repeater somewhere in the middle of your house where you know you can get the best signal all throughout all your rooms so this particular unit was not working out i tried it for a month it's, it, for me didn't work out maybe for you if you have a two-story house it might work out better because you could put this window unit on the top floor and you might get a better signal this box which is the booster that's this unit the window unit this device right here is the 4G cell spot. And this device, they claim that I'll get five bars using my wireless router, my internet. So let's go ahead and set this up. Now, we're gonna set this guy up and it's already activated at the factory. And it says during this process, the power LED will be flashing green as the device downloads the latest software and performs a device location verification. It can take up to two hours to complete device setup. Cell spot may restart a couple times during this process. The last step is turn off your Wi-Fi calling. First thing I want to do is connect the GPS antenna to the window that I get the best signal. 
and take off the double-sided tape. And my wireless router is right next to this window. So make sure your router is nearby. There we go. I'm going to plug in the yellow Ethernet cable and the yellow port. And I'm going to plug in the GPS and the GPS port. We're going to be using this piece right here. This is actually the dock. These clips right here, they go here and here where the screws are. And you just put it in an angle. There's rubber feet on the bottom. The so last is plugging in the power right here. All right, so the next step is connecting your cell spot to the internet. And we're going to plug it into any of the ports in the back of the wireless modem slash router. Next, you want to plug into a surge protector or an AC outlet and wait two hours for it to download the latest software. As you can see, it's turning on. We got a green flashing light and uh, this power light is going to flash for up to two hours. It's going to download the latest software updates. After two hours, after it finalizes, we're going to check our signal and see if it improved from one to two bars to full max signal. Once this cell spot is up and running, anyone with T-Mobile service will have great signal in the house. And this is assigned under your phone number and this location. All right, so after a couple hours, the download is complete. All the lights are green, so we're good to go. There's no orange light, thank God, so there's no issues. And I'm gonna check my signal, and sure enough, we got full bars, finally. So the booster, don't get the booster, it's not good. The cell spot is what you wanna get. If you have a dead zone, get the cell spot, you'll get max bars. Check this out, I got max bars. Come on, focus. Look at that, right here, max bars. Look, my Wi-Fi is turned off, as you can see. And right here we have max bars. All right, so let's go on the other side of my house and see if I still have full bars on my cell phone. And we're going to go this way. I'm going to show you how many steps I'm taking. So you guys know. I don't know. These tiles, I think, are maybe two feet. I don't know. So I'm all the way at the other side of my house and boom sure enough we got full bars still all throughout my house so my download is 15.2 and my upload looks like maybe 10 so if this video was informative give me a big thumbs up if you want to purchase the cell spot check out the link in the video description below but at least try to call your service carrier and see if they're willing to give you one for free like like they did for me if you want more how-to videos like this, come in your way. Subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe button here or down below. And if you want to check out my other how-to videos, click on the playlist right here. And if you know anyone that has a dead zone at their house that you think this video will help them or benefit them, go ahead and click on the share button below and help someone out. Thanks guys for watching.